The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. A hemorrhagic stroke is one of the two major types of stroke. The most common stroke or an ischemic stroke is where a blood clot develops in the brain. About nine out of 10 of all strokes are called ischemic strokes. The more uncommon that occur in one out of 10 are the hemorrhagic strokes. Although they're, they're not as common as ischemic, these are the deadly strokes. Uh, there are two types of hemorrhagic strokes. They're the intracerebral hemorrhagic stroke and the subarachnoid hemorrhagic stroke. The intercerebral hemorrhagic stroke is when you have small blood vessels inside the brain that burst. You start getting bleeding inside the brain, a lot of swelling and edema. This can cause the normal stroke-like symptoms, but most importantly in this kind of hemorrhagic stroke, it can cause loss of consciousness that can rapidly occur and you have the patient into coma in a very short period of time. The subarachnoid hemorrhages are ruptured blood vessels at the base of the brain. They're larger. And when these blood vessels burst, you can have blood spreading all over the brain between the skull. And with this, you can have a rapid increase in pressure. And this makes the patient um, unconscious or comatose in a very short period of time. A hemorrhagic stroke tends to have some of the same symptoms that you have in ischemic stroke. Uh, we try to use the, the saying called FAST. F stands for face. If you see any kind of asymmetry of the face, one side of the face looks different than the other one. A is for arm, any kind of difference in arm strength. S is for speech, any kind of altered speech. They talk funny or can't understand. And T is for time. Uh, that tells you you need to go to an emergency room or hospital that's used to dealing with strokes very rapidly. Those symptoms occur both in ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke. The big difference between the two, in a hemorrhagic stroke, you can have all of those, but you can have loss of consciousness that occurs very rapidly with a hemorrhagic strokes. In hemorrhagic strokes, one of the reasons you need to ask very fast, there are several things that we can do to, to prevent the complication from occurring. If you look at hemorrhagic stroke, one of the, two of the risk factors are hypertension and smoking. So if you can avoid doing those two, you can have a, uh, a less chance of having hemorrhagic stroke. But with the intercerebral strokes, what we need to do is you need to get your blood pressure under control very rapidly. The lower the blood pressure, the less bleeding that occurs in the brain. And if you get less bleeding, you get less swelling and the chances of losing consciousness or going into coma is less. Also, there are a lot of new drugs out that help prevent ischemic strokes. One of the disadvantages of these is it prevents the blood from clotting. So what we try to do is we give antidotes or reversal agents to help these. And if we can get you in the hospital early enough, we can reverse that and hopefully decrease the amount of, of bleeding that you can get. If you look at subarachnoid hemorrhage, these are the large vessels in the brains. There's something, there's something very specific we can do with the subarachnoid hemorrhages. If we can get you into the hospital early enough, we have a very special radiologist that can actually put a wire in this weak area of your blood vessel. And by putting wire in there, he can fill the blood vessel up and prevent it from bleeding any further. Also, some of these weaknesses in the blood vessels can be taken care of by the neurosurgeons, and they can go in the operating room and put a little metal uh, paper clip like device on that weakness in the blood vessel. And if you can keep it from re-bleeding, you can have a significant chance of not, of not causing loss of conscience and further damage. One of the big differences in a, a subarachnoid hemorrhage versus hemorrhagic is that you can get these and just have like the worst headache you've ever seen. So if you have the worst headache you've ever had, or if you have somebody that mentions this, you need to go to immediately to emergency room. And with the hemorrhagic strokes, you can with, excuse me, with the subarachnoid hemorrhages, you may not get any other symptom except it's just terrible headache. And that's a one chance if we can get you in early enough, we can develop these treatments that can prevent, prevent further brain damage. A bystander should always, if you see a patient or see somebody out there looking kind of funny, especially if their face looks different, they have slurred speech, any kind of weaknesses, you immediately ought to call 911 and go to a hospital like UT Hospital where we can take care of these. We hope you'll join us soon for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org 
or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.